What is up and welcome back to the Bike School YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to uh, play with this. No, I'm just kidding. In this video, we're giving some tips on how to like properly nose dive into a landing. Now, why is nose diving into a landing important? Well, for one, we want to get both wheels down onto that landing so that way we can immediately start our pump. You know, if there's a dirt jump set followed by another dirt jump set, we want to land and then immediately be able to compress both wheels, compress our legs, get both wheels into the ground, pump through the transition into the next jump. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is that if the landing is really steep, like say we're jumping a spine, well, we don't want to come up and then land like this and loop because that's not good. We want to, you know, again, come up and then perfect. Slide down that landing, perfect. And not slide, roll, roll down. So reason number one, to get our both wheels down, start our pump. Reason number two is so that way we don't loop out. And then reason number three is kind of a speed thing as well. When we can dip that front end, it allows us to be more precise and carry more speed, be more smooth, and it just looks better. No one wants to be like, ka ah, ka Dip that nose in. Ah, ka All right, you get it. Okay, so nose diving into the landing. There's a big misconception that to nose dive, you just pull back really hard off the lip and then just drop the nose right when you come off. And the reason you don't want to do that is because say you jump a jump and you commit to that nose dive like right off the lip. Well, if you come up and you commit to the nose dive right off the lip and you're going to come up short, you're you're going to nose case. And this is why it's so important to fly level. The first step to, you know, dropping that nose into the landing is to fly level. And so we're going to stand up at the top of that lip. And when we stand up, once we're in the air, it we're able to just kind of push our bars out and stay standing. And then we're level. And then what we can do, stand up, go like this. We can actually like lean our body forward, kick those legs out, and then our chest will come forward and then we can pick our legs up into the landing. I had to push through a little bit more, but I was flying level. So I was able to realize that I was probably gonna case and right at the last second, suck that back wheel up. I call this the double pump. It's like you come up, level out, and then lean your chest down forward, like you're pushing your chest down into the landing and then you kind of lift the back end up and so this is really helpful for all jumps but it's especially going to be helpful for any jump that you feel like you might be coming up short on you'll be able to fly level and then you kind of reach your chest in the air to get that front wheel over and then suck up the back and then when you have enough speed it's a much less exaggerated motion you just go up you level and then you get that chest forward pick the back end of the bike up just a little bit so that's what i would say the key really is is to get that chest forward but from level don't commit to nose diving into the landing right off the lip just because if you don't have the speed it's not gonna go over well for you so you know, let's watch this clip one last time. Standing up straight off the lip, leveling out, and then once we're level, we're doing like that double pump, getting our chest forward, and then lifting up the back wheel. And this is done in 360s, different air tricks. You do the trick when you're level. When you spin, you can try to get level, and then you can kind of push that chest forward at the end of the spin and dip yourself down so go ahead and try it out you know make sure you're flying level and then push that chest forward in the air pick up your legs and both wheels down
like level boom level boom not like this not like this all right that is my quick tip for this fine tuesday make sure you subscribe and uh, if you're interested in progressing and joining the awesome bike school community, membership is 10 bucks a month, and you can go check it out on learn.schoolofbikes.com. Once again, I am Nick Hilton, and this is not a radio show. See you.